Nice to meet both of you. you nice too. to meet you. Too. How are you doing today? Listen, I'm uh, alive. We're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, yeah. and we're in the, and we're in the middle of a civil war, but we're still standing. Amen. I know that's right. Let's see, black and brown communities. Okay, boom. All right. Uh oh. Okay, I see it. Hear me pin it. You know, T-Mobile's been acting really funny. I know. Is that who you have? Look, shout out to at t for holding it down. <laughs> I have T-Mobile too. Just saying. It won't even let me pin your comment. No. Oh, babe, maybe I can pin it. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can. See if you can pin it. But if you can't, yeah, you maybe oh. you have to pin it. Oh. Yeah, she got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we get it together. So, hi, I'm Jason. Hey. hey, Jason. So, I'm Maggie. I am the CEO and founder of 25 Credit Repair, um, where we teach you how to repair your credit and start building financial literacy. And this is my sister, Dory. Yes, she's the COO and the co-founder of this dope company as well. So, how did you guys... You frozen? Oh decide to get into credit because you i know people you may not know this about me but i used to own a credit repair company oh really wow no we didn't mm -hmm. know that so really it started out um with me like i was in japan um and we were actually about to come back home to the states and it's like okay it's time to purchase a home but you know myself and my spouse we didn't have our credit right at the time and so it was like i know this is the last missing puzzle piece that we need and so uh once I got my credit together. I helped him get his credit together. And, um, you know, we come from a family, like, we from, I don't know if y'all know, but we from Homestead, Texas, like, the hood, baby, okay? <laughs> and so um, financial literacy just was not taught, like, within our household, and not because our mom didn't want to teach it. She just didn't know it. Mm -hmm. um, and so once I was able to get my home fully furnished, built from the ground up. I'm like, oh, uh-uh. Like, I got to put my sister on. I got to put my mom on. Um, and doing those things, I was able to put my cousin on. Dog got her house. Um, my cousins got their houses. And then so it was like, okay, this is easy. Like, Wait, you guys got your own houses already? How old are you? Um, how old do you think we are, Jason? <laughs> You're young. Way younger than me. I'm, I'm 24. And I'm 28. <laughs> Oh, you guys look way younger than that. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I get that a lot. She always getting the old heads, trying to holler at her, <laughs> telling her she looks like my mama. So uh, no, <laughs> she looks. You guys look both look young, but that's Thank good. You. I mean, black black clearly doesn't crack. Okay, speak on it. Speak on it. So, <laughs> did you find that? Because um, I always believe that uh, like systemic racism exists in credit too, right? And like oh, people right. people don't even understand, especially our people don't understand the importance of how much power can be gained by taking control of your credit. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's like what we try to um, educate people on. I mean, some people think like credit is boring, but I mean, it's money. Like once you have your money right, like your credit right, life, literally the heavens open up. Right. And we try to teach it in a way to where it's like, okay, real life scenarios. I want people that follow us to know like, we can have these open conversations and actually have fun and having these conversations. I mean, let's be real. Like, we all know somebody that owes somebody but didn't pay it back. Like, yeah. let's talk about ways that we can get that taken care of without mm -hmm. you having to pay it back. Sis. Like, right. let's take care of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for some odd reason, people think having credit is bad. They think credit cards are bad. But the truth is, you just don't know you don't know how to handle that responsibility right. of having that. And you we got to educate, right? Exactly. At the end of the day, it's about education. I, I mean, I don't use credit cards now, although I am, since I've built, since I've cleaned my credit and now I'm rebuilding my credit, I do understand, like, having credit cards is not about having a bunch of money to go out and spend. It's not right. free money. But, like, use it strategically, you know? Like, exactly. if you have a phone bill or if you have, bills that you pay already cash or through your debit card just pay them on your credit card and pay your balance down exactly, exactly. and rack up the rewards points yep. so you can fly free yep. like it's just easy come yep. on so what are you teaching people like what, what so do you have classes courses or what how does it work 
So we have different options. Um, at the basic level, we have our $25 um, credit academy where we teach people how to repair their own credit um, and just get educated you know so, like we when we do ads with pages we notice that the people in the comments are like oh it's easy just don't pay or just pay your bills and it's like no credit is more than that and you're obviously showing your color baby because it's literally more than that <laughs> and so it's like we just want to we just want to educate so the academy is $25 and um, it's like it's similar to whenever we go live um, we just cover different um, segments about credit and how it applies to you, how it affects you. And we have a Facebook group associated with that program where they can be in there all the time and Doll and I are in it. We have, um, we have ad coaches in there. We have business coaches in there. Um, realtors, we have loan officers in there. Um, oh, wow. So just educate and just keep us educated. Keep us in the know because there's always new things coming when it comes to credit. And so we just want to make sure our people are locked in and educated. That's a basic level, but we have so many other program options as well. And the good part about it, like I just, um, I was telling the story of why I put it on my Facebook. I was looking for a house and I went to go get a house and the house was a lease to own and it was like $10,000 a month, right? Which was like, okay, whatever, I can, I can afford that. Mm -hmm. But the woman, I felt like she was going to discriminate against me. Thankfully, my credit was built up. Yep. My profile was great, but she still came back and said, um, well, we looked at his Instagram and we don't want to have any hip hop parties in this community. And so anyway, long story short is I thought I was going to be dis uh, 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 discriminated against based on credit. I just got discriminated against on race. Right. But I say all that to say, I don't think people think about how deeply embedded racism is in purchasing property or purchasing owning land right and i right. think having having a stronger credit profile makes it all the more arguable when you are ultimately um discriminated yeah. against wow. but see that's why like we try to teach more credit because there's a lot of ways to finesse the system legally mm -hmm. and it's so many like so many times that um you know as as black and brown people we just move and like we kind of we kind of make excuses not trust and believe i know it's systematic things that are put in place but the biggest thing is, okay, let's get educated. Let's not take an excuse. Like, that's the easy way out. Let's figure out ways to think outside the box so that we can come up with other solutions to better ourselves and our lives. And so, like, with what you just said, I, we, we encourage people to create businesses. We encourage people to get those businesses established legally and properly because once it's established properly, you can get you somebody that looks just like that person that's about to discriminate against you and have them approve the deed get the get the everything set up officially and you don't have to go through that problem and then you circle back and it's like yeah boy i'm black mm -hmm. i know you didn't want me to have this property but i got it now it's good you know but it was it was it, it was interesting recently i was talking um on the phone with tiffany hatter she just yesterday posted that she has moved her money into a black owned bank we were yeah. talking about how with all the um protesting and everything going on right now that you know, this is the time now where if, if because of COVID-19 and, and everything else going on in the world that um, prices or values of property has gone down, people should be buying property, right? right? But you can't do that if you don't have good credit. Exactly. Right. Exactly. 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 And um, and we're like, I mean, so many things. We're just truly passionate about um, this space and education and financial literacy. Like, it's just... I mean, it's always been important, but it's especially important now when so many um, people are looking for ways to, to find solutions. I mean, this is one big way to find a solution for yourself. Like, literally, like, your, your direct descendants, your direct, or not descendants, but <laughs> those who come after you, you know what I mean? So we, we definitely can get a leg up by, by at least getting yourself together first and then understanding how things to get your kids and everybody else set up after you right and i think it's the time for anybody who needs this type of service that they invest in and get it with a black owned company right yeah. right we oh you want to say nothing <laughs> <laughs> sorry but but um a lot of black owned companies do get like a bad rep um you know some people just think um they can't buy black because 
oh, we're trying to take advantage yeah. or we're slow, you know. But, Stereotype. Right. But it's like you put up with it from uh, other companies. Why not buy into your own community? Right. And we can help. We're trying to help everybody. But I mean, especially, it's a different especially our community. Right. I mean, for us, though, like the biggest thing, because it is so many credit repair companies out mm-hmm. here. But what separates us from other credit repair companies is education. Mm -hmm. Like within this space, it's easy for you to give your money to somebody and for them to say, okay, I'm going to fix your credit. But with us, we don't want you to, and I'm blunt with my followers, so I'm going to just be blunt with y'all. But I don't want you to suck on mama's titty forever, honey. Like, (laughs) I want you, baby. You in the nest for right now, but we trying to wean you off mama's mama's titties, okay? Because I want you to be able to support yourself. I want you to be able to support your family. So, no, I don't want you being up under me all all day, every day, and forever. Like, get educated, take this, get yourself established, and Mm -hmm. have a good life. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and have financial freedom, you know, and be able to have the flexibility. I know like back in the day when I had credit cards, I used to be so abusive. It would be like, you have a thousand dollar limit. I'd be like, well, going to Macy's, you know, gotta go get me some. And I didn't even know until I started a credit repair company that um, a Macy's card is not necessarily a good, it's not good for your credit. See, it's so many things. And that's why we like, when I, when I'm looking at everybody's style, I mean, I don't even have to look at your file, but I try to, during our lives, because we go live at least once a week at the minimum, and I'm, like, trying to get free game always. But that's one of the things that I cover. Like, I go in certain people's style, and it's like, oh, store card after store card after mm-hmm. store card. Mm-hmm. No, let's get you some cards that you can use for ca- as cash anywhere. And then let's get you some rewards cards. Mm-hmm. But it's like, okay, let's stack that profile up right so that we can get you some rewards cards with dope women. So right. you can really be out here popping. Like, right. let's get it together, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know. I recently had interviewed somebody who was teaching me about um, all the rewards points, so like how much <laughs> free stuff is out there and how, how they were basically living completely off of rewards. Yeah. Like, what? Yes. It's, a fin- it's a finesse game. That's, that's oh, the, yes. the course you guys need to come out with is finesse your life. Finesse your credit. <laughs> oh, you're giving us ideas. <laughs> finesse your credit. That. But you know, is it is it hard to get an American Express? No, Mm-mm. not at all. No. I don't have one. Look, we have a um, it's called a credit card cheat yeah. sheet, and it lists credit cards, um, what your score needs to be, the benefits, everything. It lists the bureaus that they pull from. Right. So literally, like it gives you the game on if you want that card. Like all you gotta do is search it in the list. And we'll tell you which bureau and you'll be good to go what scores you need to have but mm-hmm. really american express pulls from Experian. um really they like to see and i tell everybody like american express pulls from Experian. they um, really like to see anything from 700 and above and then also too you want to make sure when you're applying for credit cards your usage on your credit cards is always under 30 percent preferably 15 or less um, as long as they're used to just under 13. Wait, we're not going to give them all the game right now because this is valuable, right? Yeah. Hopefully y'all pick that too. But wait a minute. I think the class, your class is, uh, is important to take just for the cheat sheet. Oh, just so just that in itself is okay. worth it. It's just to know like how, and, and you know, some say cheat, but you know, other people have been doing it for years. It's just right. a shortcut, shortcut yeah. sheet. Right. And you know, we have people uh, messaging us like, you why are you guys giving that away you shouldn't talk about why like for what we know it and and baby trust and believe it took me a lot of money to find out this information and it took me knocking my head to find out this information so if i can give it to you guys and y'all don't have to go through what i went through of course like but also people need to like one thing that's been happening recently i think with the George Floyd death and everything is that people have been guilting black businesses this is not a time to start promoting your brand this DJ Damage on the show said it the best. This is the time to be promoting black business. This is the time to be selling whatever you do. And this is the time to start circulating your money in those black businesses. Because right. even I have felt guilty, like, oh, I don't want to promote our merch. My, my merch says black brands matter. This is the mm-hmm. time to be promoting right. black brands matter, right? Right. right? But not even just that. You know, I noticed that, like, after Nipsey Hussle passed away, he was, like, the catalyst for entrepreneurship entrepreneurship (laughs) he like got more people on this whole like okay hustle but do it the legitimate way 
But it's like, okay, once we've acquired that information, I saw so many people create these black businesses and it's dope. But now we need to figure out how to get your black business properly, legally established mm-hmm. so that you understand how you can use that black business and how you can leverage leverage it to empower your family, to empower your community and how to do all of these things legally. Mm-hmm. It all starts with setting up a black your black business it doesn't matter what that black business is but we have to get educated we have to understand how to use the how to use this system that was created to to negatively affect us us. how to work it and how to how to help impact our community it's so many things that we lack education on and we just it's our it's our responsibility Mm -hmm. every single one of our responsibility to get it right and to get educated yep So listen, we did this live on your live, so I think we did it wrong. So you can save this one on yours, and then we'll schedule another time. I'll tell my team, we'll schedule another time to go live. I'm moving in my house this week, but like maybe next week to go live on my account so we can save it on our account too. Okay. Okay. That's dope. I love it. But yeah, get your your money. Get your money helping other people get their money. Exactly. Let's level up so we can help y'all level up. Yeah. That's the thing. Like I noticed during the um during the the protests during COVID, so many businesses were affected, and it's just like okay, you guys. And I think from a consumer standpoint, that's something that that consumers wouldn't see, consumers wouldn't notice because if the businesses don't talk about it, you just wouldn't know. But so many of our businesses were impacted during these times and it's just really important that we understand how it affects us and understand like, okay, I'm invested in this black business because this black business is invested in me. And so I I think it's really important that we stay educated and understand which brands are actually here to support us, which brands are actually here to educate us and basically just better better everybody's lives all together ultimately. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and also if you have children, I mean start thinking about what you're going to leave them, right? Like you could be setting up your kids to change generational wealth now, you right. know, by making the right decisions and building the proper profile. And when you do get the credit don't go out and ruin it by getting everything you can finally get that you can never get. You know, like get what you right. need, invest, build, and just keep going. Absolutely, absolutely. Just continue to level up. That's all it's, that's all it's about. Level up and help somebody while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Listen, somebody uh, somebody said a prayer. They said, Dear Father Almighty, bless us all in this live chat with health, happiness, financial freedom, wealth, and health. But baby Jesus, please expedite the process. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> This that was man, a good prayer. Y'all have to be patient. Be patient with the process. Be patient. Like, a lot of people get so discouraged because things aren't happening as soon as they thought or wanted yeah. it to happen. But, That's you know, just you, God telling you it's not time, baby, and he got something right. better for exactly. you. Exactly. Just hold on. Just hold on a quick second. Y'all going to get that house, that car, Yeah, the new whatever. titties that you want with that care credit card, baby. Exactly. Listen, you be safe. You going to get some. <laughs> yes. Yeah, get, don't get the rush card. Figure out how to get these <laughs> other cards. I'm done. You know? <laughs> All right, so card. tell people where to find you, where to sign up, where to hit you. Of course, they can go to your Instagram, 25 credit with a K repair, but uh, an underscore. But listen, how about I DM'd you and you got an auto response on DM and I don't even have an auto response on DM. I told my, I told my, I told my team right now, I said, why the fuck do they have an auto response and we don't have an auto response? So we will have an auto, we will have an auto response by tomorrow. Okay, come on. And if you need help with it, just DM us. Come on, team, get it together. For a fee, for a fee. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> we got you, Dave. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. We shouldn't feel guilted into wanting to be paid to help people. On it. And you know, like today. For discounts. To, you ain't asking Nike for discount. You're not asking for uh, all these other brands. I mean, it's cool. We down to give you the discount, but don't be a dick about it. Like, right. we out right. here supporting our family, too. Like, yeah. you know, it's just. Like, okay, so look, today I text somebody and I said, uh, hey, this model, right, from Texas. I say, hey, how are you? You know, it looks like you're still doing well. And they text me back and said, you don't fuck with me. I said, but I just text you. And they said, but you never put me on. And that is the mentality that our people need to stop, right? Yeah. We need to say, like, if we got $100, we could spend 25 on weed, we yep. could spend 50 on food, and we could spend 25 on fixing our credit. 
Right. right. Exactly. At the bare minimum. I mean, right. but seriously, like, how much do you how much do you think your future is worth? Okay, like right. if you're not willing to invest in yourself, then that's on you, fam. Like if you don't see the investment, you're just not ready yet. You're just not ready. But yeah. that's what we give you the game. It's it's up to you to take it and use it and work it. So I, I mean, mean just the, just the cheat sheet alone. I mean, I'm telling you, Jesus, where's that at? <laughs> well, okay, so we'll we'll schedule another live, but save this one, and um, everybody should go check out Twenty Five Credit Repair. And uh, I love that you guys know your shit, but you're still, you know, we can still feel like we're talking to our people. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, right. when right. I told you we from the hood, like. But we were struggling. We didn't have no water on certain days. Eating ice out the deep freezer, baby. <laughs> 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 so we gonna, yeah, we gonna stay down. You know, we gonna we gonna be here for the people. Period. Okay, good. All right. Well, nice meeting both of you, and let's uh, let's stay connected. I like your energy. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice you to too. meet you. Stay as well. safe and healthy, and get that auto response popping, <laughs> please. Oh, uh, I'm gonna drink my water and get my auto response. Happen. Exactly. Next time y'all DM us, that auto response gonna sound like we got a 24-hour operator just <laughs> yeah. sitting right there answering you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. But see, you know, another thing that's great too is people can all learn from each other. Like, there's nobody who's doing better than anybody because we all got something to learn. Shit, and once we get credit, if we all had credit and we all had resources, we could put all that money together and buy a bunch of shit. Somebody, right. one of my exes called me and said that there were I want to say 25 acres for sale in California for $17,000. What? Shut up. What? I said where? But see, those are things that we don't know. But that's the thing. They all know. Right. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, yeah. I can go yeah. on and on. But we'll talk again yeah. very soon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.